Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nayasha and I'm here with a brand new video for you guys all today. But before I get into that, I just want to say Happy New Year's and if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not new, hey guys. Um, so today's video is going to be a foundation review slash first impression slash demo slash I'm giving you guys a tea. <laughs> um, I got a new foundation and I purchased, it's the NARS Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. I, you guys probably hear this foundation buzzing around social media. A lot of people are using it, talking about it. So I decided to order it. When this foundation came out, when it first came out online, I ordered it on Sephora.com. Um, I have not worn this foundation yet. Um, I don't know if the shade is going to match me right. So this video is very raw. Um, I ordered the shade Dark 2 in New Caldanina. Called Cald Dania. I, I hope I pronounced it right. If I did, I'm sorry. That sounds like a city or a state or something. But it's called New Caledonia in Dark Two. Um, so I winged it with ordering this shade because I, I wasn't too sure. They got rid of a lot of the shades that I normally am in Nars. Like in Nars, I'm using like Trinidad in between Trinidad and Burmese, Bur whatever it is. Um, but that shade was not in the new collection, which I was a little bit bummed about. So I had to go with the brand new shade that I didn't know what it was about. Um, so I picked up this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to color correct first just because I have a little bit of discoloration and I want this foundation to look at its best as possible. So I'm just going to color correct using a, a color corrector and then I'm going to put the foundation on. The color looks about right. That's what it looks like. You have like a glass bottle, which is pretty sleek, and then like this soft matte cover. It's like a soft matte cover, and then oh, it comes with the pump because Sheer Glow didn't come with a pump, so just stay in. All the luminous comes with a pump, but Sheer Glow, which I do like Sheer Glow, that's one of my favorite foundation from NARS. It doesn't come with the pump, so I'm glad they included a pump in this one. Um, the back, the packaging is pretty sleek, really nice, really cute, standard NARS. You have the NARS logo right here, and then you have the back. It has the name of the foundation, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Um, it's a one point fluid ounce, which is more it's standard for most foundation. You always want to shake the foundation prior before using it just so you mix the formula up sometimes the foundation they tend to sit and yeah it separates so we're gonna mix that up and yeah we're gonna just I'm gonna pump some on the back of my hand first got that on so far like the 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 foundation is pretty creamy, which I do like. Um, the texture is not watery. It's not as watery as All Day Luminous, but it's a little bit more thicker than Sheer Glow, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to work on one side of my face first. Well, this is a lot. She thick. I'm going to work on one side of my face first, and then I'm going to do the other side, probably with like a beauty blender or something. And I'm going to use this like Real Technique blending brush and blend it out. Yeah, this is a really the color is actually not bad. I have to Yeah, the color looks pretty fine. I don't know, I have to I have to see. Oh wow, this is really good coverage. Oh wow. Oh wow. The coverage is nice. This has a really nice coverage. The color on camera, however, is coming off a little bit on the other side. I don't know if it's because of the bright ring light, but the color in person, it actually looks pretty, pretty good. It looks pretty good. Wow. The coverage, though, on this is amazing. It gets really good coverage. Wow. Oh, my God. Look at the difference. Wow. Oh my god, I I like the I like the coverage of this a lot, and I like that it doesn't look like cakey or anything like that. Wow, I'm gonna do the other side of my face. Um, uh, I'm, I'm thinking that it's more coverage than all, all day luminous, but the color is pretty. I, I I like her. She's cute. 
no we're gonna yeah it, the color looks about right but we're gonna finish with this and we'll see color doesn't look too bad at all it's not too red in the description it says that it was golden olive which I was a little bit concerned about because I don't really have like olive undertone then I didn't want the foundation to look like really really like green or orange on me but it doesn't look too bad we're gonna see once I like I finish my face and everything the coverage on this is really really good I have to say that I love it and it doesn't feel like I have like a lot of makeup on my skin I'm um, like it, it it's covering she's she's covering let's get the forehead she is covering and I use probably about three I'm not sure how much pumps I use but it was a lie it probably was about three pumps or something like that and I'm just running it down and yeah this is what she's looking like guys so this is what she's looking like she's looking good this doesn't look bad at all. It feels very good on the skin. It doesn't feel like I have makeup on, on the skin. Um, it hasn't dried down yet. I'm gonna, I, maybe I, I have to wait and set it. I am gonna set this regardless because um, I like to set my makeup because I don't want my face to, usually when I wear foundation, my foundation lasts pretty long throughout the day anyway, but um, this is pretty. This is cute. Oh just messed up my headband but whatever this is cute okay guys so the foundation is on and on camera the color is coming off a little bit more warmer but the color looks so pretty in person this foundation looks so pretty on like I cannot stop staring at in the mirror because it looks pretty it, it's not like a, a matte finish it's like a it, it's like a skin like finish that's the best way I can explain it because I see like a little radiance to it because like look look I don't even have no highlighter on and it's just it's so pretty this is a really really pretty foundation so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish the rest of my face I'm gonna set my face and I'm gonna come back talk a little bit about the foundation and we're gonna just go from there but so far I love how it looks the color is pretty it, it's a pretty color I like it it's not too red it's a little bit warm warm um i was a little bit afraid when i heard olive because i didn't want to look green but it doesn't look green on camera um keep in mind i do have like lights around me but it's so pretty okay i want to stop talking i'm going to finish the rest of my face and i'm going to come back hi guys so i'm back with my full face on so far i am absolutely loving how this foundation is looking on my skin nars but I can't make any judgments because I didn't wear it out yet. So this is my first time wearing a foundation. So, so far, natural radiant long wear foundation is looking like a go. My face is looking really, really nice. The foundation played really, really well with the other products that I did use on my skin. For my concealer, I used the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which is one of my holy grail. Love, love that concealer. Um, and then I use like bronzer. I use a little bit of blush, highlighters from Fenty. So, so far, the foundation is playing really, really well with other products. But... I'm going to read to you guys a little bit about, you know, a little bit about this foundation. So NARS is saying that this is the first 16 hour foundation that stays turned on by the power of radiance. Untraceable, unstoppable, unlike anything else, long wear is finally lightweight and radiant. High coverage is now supernatural. It's breathable. Fade resistant formula is infused with raspberry, apple, and watermelon. I love watermelon. Extracts to help smooth and improve the look of your skin intense instantly. And over time for full powered radiance. It wears longer, stays stronger, and looks better with each hour. Specialized skin matching technology ensures your truest match yet. Your future looks radiant with natural radiant long wear foundation. That sounds so cute. I should be a spokesperson for NARS. I'm just saying. But anywho guys, so that's what it says. Also, it says that this foundation is for skin types. It is for normal combination and oily skin types. It does not mention any dry skin clients. Clients, I'm thinking my word. It does not mention any dry skin. Um, but I have more drier normal skin. So so far, um, 
the foundation is playing well with my skin um keep in mind i did prep my skin so i did use like skincare before applying this foundation on um but so far the foundation is playing well with my dry skin so i don't know why they didn't include dry skin in there shady but whatever um and then also it says that this foundation is supposed to be medium to full buildable coverage which i will speak on that right now the foundation definitely is a medium to full buildable it's definitely buildable um it looks flawless it doesn't look like i have a lot of makeup on with this foundation it looks like skin so far for what i can see um and i like it a lot it doesn't feel like heavy on the face at all um let me see something yeah let me see if i'm getting any if it's set because earlier when i applied it, it did not set down and i saw a little bit of transfer on my finger but i'm gonna see if it's set down yet so i think it has set yeah i think it has set. keep in mind i just set my face with like powders and stuff like that um which i would recommend you do with this foundation make sure you set it um but so far so good i am gonna go about my day um it's raining right now in new york city which sucks but I'm going to go about my day, run my errands, do what I have to do, and I'm going to come back and uh, wrap up this video, letting you guys know my final thoughts and opinion about the foundation. But so far, it's um, it's raining right now in New York City, which sucks. But I'm going to go about my day, run my errands, do what I have to do, and I'm going to come back and uh, wrap up this video, letting you guys know my final thoughts and opinion about the foundation. But so far, it's great. I love it. It looks amazing. The color is super pretty. My skin looks soft it's just really really pretty and i'm gonna stop talking because yeah I'm, i can talk quite a bit um so yeah i'm gonna go and i'll come back and let you guys know the final verdict about this foundation so far it's amazing i like how it looks it's very pretty but things can change and get a little bit difficult in the end so i'm gonna come back and let you guys know how it is and how it's holding up hey guys so i am back just checking in with you guys giving you guys the tea on this foundation and how this foundation is holding up for your girl so far so good um this foundation feels super lightweight on the skin it doesn't feel like i have a lot of makeup on whatsoever which i absolutely love nars also mentioned that this foundation was untraceable which i have to agree with them it definitely is un untraceable it doesn't look like you have foundation on um it looks like skin it looks like second skin but more perfect if that makes any sense so untraceable was just the perfect word for this foundation it's such a pretty foundation honestly guys it's so pretty i had this foundation on for about six to seven hours first applied it it doesn't look like i've had it on for hours it doesn't look like it's wearing off it still looks super pretty and just super flawless on the skin i'm using my mac Mary to see um this foundation is just really really pretty um guys that's the best way to explain it i absolutely love the color the color of this foundation it's pretty at first i was a little bit concerned because they did describe the shade as golden olive i've never had an olive tone like um foundation and this was the first so i was honestly what is that i was a little bit concerned but um it 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 looks good it looks really 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 good the color looks really really good one thing that i did want to let you guys know about this foundation um nars did said that this is supposed to be transfer resistant which um yeah no um i did get a little bit of transfer i saved the tissue just to show you guys before i actually put my camera on um i blotted just a little bit and this is what i got so this foundation is not transfer resistant um it did transfer and i'm not an oily person at oil and this is i don't even think this is oil i think this is just like residue left back from extra foundation um so that can be it too that could be maybe i applied too much foundation i don't know um we'll, we'll just have to see but so far um i don't think that the foundation is transfer resistant um i didn't get like a whole lot but this is still like a good amount like that's still a good amount of foundation you know um not a big complaint a big issue to me because if i'm wearing makeup of course it's gonna come off whatever who cares i don't um not a big issue but it's not transfer resistant nars where she transfers <laughs> she transfers so definitely um i want to let you guys know that it's not transfer transfer resist resistant nugs that i did use which is amazing so i do like that um 
and the coverage is definitely a medium to full coverage as I mentioned when I was applying it the coverage definitely is there I definitely feel like this is a buildable foundation you can definitely build this up to a full coverage um, once you apply it pretty well um, I use a brush to blend out this foundation I'm not a big fan of beauty blenders even though I have a ton of beauty blenders I'm not a fan of beauty blenders because <clears throat> they do observe sorry they do observe a lot of products so i used a brush the brush that i used to blend out the foundation was a face brush from real techniques um and i like it and it gave me pretty good um application overall i absolutely like this foundation a lot the only thing that i didn't like is just the fact that it did transfer which is not a big deal it's just a little you know little con they said it was it, it shouldn't have transfer but it did but it's not a big deal to me um just letting you guys know that that's the only thing that i would have to complain about for the foundation overall i do like it um you get one point fluid ounce of product this foundation retails for 49 dollars nars foundations are usually pretty expensive pretty on a pricier side um I like it. I like their foundations, and I, honestly, I knew they would have did a great job with this. So I'm, I'm surprised. I'm not surprised because they do really, really well when it comes to foundations, um, as well as con especially concealers. Like I love their concealer. The Radiant Creamy is one of my favorite concealer. So I'm not surprised that this is a good foundation. Overall, would I recommend it? Yes. If I have to rate it between a one to five, I would give it a. 4.8 only because it does transfer a little bit and it says that it, it it wouldn't transfer but otherwise besides that little minor con this is a really it's a really pretty foundation i do like it and i cannot wait to wear it some more just to see how much i love it but um i think this is gonna be my new favorite foundation like it's so pretty it's super creamy when i blended it out on my skin it blended out like a dream super super creamy um once again my skin type is more on the normal to dry side so if you do have dry skin you can still wear this just make sure that you're prepping your skin really well with skincare just so the, the foundation doesn't cling to dry patches and stuff like that um overall i am very impressed very impressed very 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 impressed and I like it um I don't have anything else to say about this foundation um but I recommend it yes go out and get it get your shade go get color match and get it you'll like it um if you don't hopefully you're able to find another foundation that you do like but I do like this foundation um I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a big thumbs up comment down below subscribe and share and let me know let me know how you guys like this video down below in the comments and I'll see you guys all soon